So in this example, guys, again, the first thing I want to do is let's just talk about M behavior again. Let's just worry. First of all, let's go through the M behavior portion. So the first thing, this function is g of x. And we're finding the value that the function is approaching, g of x, as x approaches infinity. So you guys can far start from your farthest left. So we're going over here. Okay, Jump continuity basically means that we have to jump to the next function. And then as we keep continue going to the right, my f of x values keep on getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And you can see that they are now approaching negative infinity. And as we go from the uh, as we go to the left towards negative infinity, that's basically as x approaches negative infinity is basically saying what is the value of f x as we go to the left. So as we're going to the left, we jump and then we continue up. And as far as we go to the left, we're going to keep on getting the f of x values are going to keep on getting higher and higher. So you can say that the f of x is approaching infinity. All right. Um, and again, guys, I'm trying to go over this because it should be that you know basic symbol. The hard thing I know is basically a lot of this notation. The last thing I just want to cover on this left side is g of 3 is equal to 0. Um, again, we're looking for the value of g of 3. So if you guys look at this function, if you go under 3, there's kind of two points, right? You have this function, which is a hole, which we know is not defined. And then this function has a solid dot, which means it is defined. So therefore, g of 3 should equal 0, right? So remember the closed dot and the open dot, right? Closed dot means it's defined. Open dot means it's undefined. All right, so 